I've entered my 10th or 11th, 10th week of, of therapy. And one thing that's become apparently clear is that any problems that I had with myself before therapy started, um, is now are things that are now painfully obvious and, uh, annoying. And one of those things is, uh, what I, what I'd like to call, um, notice me senpai syndrome. And I came up with that name, um, without having any thought of ever applying that to myself. And after doing so, it, it's, it's, it's very clear to me that I, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, um, not outwardly, but, you know, a sufferer of that myself. And I like to describe that as the, um, the laser focus, almost blind, uh, blinders around yourself on, um, when it comes to a, the actions of a specific person or rather the perceived actions of a specific person that are not in line with what you expect of them. And, uh, which leads to self-deprecation things I'm trying to get over, etc. And the example I came up with yesterday or over the past few weeks is like, say you have, um, you know, you have a, a, a broadcaster friend or a community member in your stream or I say a moderator that just, um, that for a time is really supportive, you know, always there, um, always present. And then they, to what you, you, to the, to my perception, I guess they abandoned me. And, um, the first thing I think about is that I, I start to deprecate myself. I'm like, what did I do wrong? Or maybe they're too big for me or maybe I'm not important enough. Um, which feeds into something that I want to be, t I want to talk about soon. Um, which is the fact that my, uh, my core belief is that I'm unworthy and my fear is that is to be worthy. It's a little bit complex to explain. I still haven't completely gotten it myself, but you know, the self-deprecation feelings of abandonment have led to, you know, uh, it's a very selfish action that I do in making in, um, in blaming myself rather than talking to the person, you know, so-and-so why have, you know, uh, how you doing? I haven't seen you around. Um, hope everything's okay. Things like that. Creating a dialogue. I don't do that. I've never done that. I'd rather not bother them with my problems. I'd rather not burden them, which is also selfish in itself because it also feeds into the belief that I am unworthy. Um, my total debt, my whole definition of this senpai syndrome changed after going to therapy yesterday because, um, I, I really thought it was just this thing where, you know, you become fixated and, um, I didn't see it as selfish at all. I saw it as, um, I didn't see it as abandonment either. Actually, after now, I can't really think of what, um, uh, I can't even think of what I did <laughs> to find it as before, before now, but, um, I see a lot of people do it, um, because they want to be noticed and like me, me, like everybody else, just, you know, it's the other end. I don't want to be alone. Um, I don't want to feel abandoned, but I can fix that. And by just talking to the person and I've been encouraged to do that. And hopefully I can, um, I think what. My doctor said is no matter how embarrassing it feels, no matter how embarrassing it makes you, um, or how embarrassed it makes you or how awkward the situation is, you got to force yourself out of your comfort zone. And that's something I've been trying to do a lot. And, um, I don't know. It's more acute when it became acutely aware to me, it's like, I can depend, I can just see it in people, um, uh, wanting to get the attention of somebody they, they care about, um, some people are outwardly, outwardly do it. Like they'll call them out or they'll make them or try to guilt trip them or things like that. But me, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, a, everything is supported in what I've been going through is that my, uh, I'll keep it in and I'll beat myself up for it. So I'm working on that. And hopefully that if you are a person that I've done that to, that, um, I can work up the guts, work up the resolve to talk to you about it. And, um, not necessarily, I guess apologizing is not what I, uh, is not what I'm going for here, but, um, clearing the air, um, because I guess, you know what? I miss you. <laughs> if you're a per if you're that person in chat or you're that supporter or you're that broadcaster that I haven't seen lately, I should talk to you because I miss you.
and um yeah I, I that's really it anyway until next time that's all i got for now and i'll see you later thanks for watching